Uh, welcome to a new video and this will be a special video because I want to do a Q&A about uh, the Mate 60 Pro running Harmony OS Next 5.0, the beta version of uh, Harmony OS 5 that yeah, is using its own core. So what we want to do is go through the most frequently asked questions that I got under my videos, especially the video about the Easy Abroad app as well. So first of all, we will yeah, focus on the base of Harmony OS Next. What is it actually? Then notification on Easy Abroad and similar apps because there's another app that also uh, joined it. Google Pay support, keyboard support and install third-party apps that are not available on the Easy Abroad app or the new app. So let's get started. <laughs> Question number one, what is Harmony OS Next based upon? And it's true that some people are having the misconception that Harmony OS that is running here, for example, on my Mate X3 is based upon Android. And this is a common misconception because some researchers, I don't want to call names there, just started up the UI, installed some Android applications, went into the system information and saw Android 12 or Android 11 or Android 10 or something like this. So yeah, must be Android based. It's a bit more complicated. And to answer this question, we have this kind of layout there as well. Let me start the screen recording so you can probably also overlap this. So we have this kind of layout here that shows how complicated this whole process can be. But I try to compress and simplify it for you here. So we had back in the day Emotion UI based upon Google's Android, which is based upon Linux and the Linux kernel. When the ban happened, what Huawei did was replace it with AOSP and just call it Harmony S. Isn't that? Nah, that's not all, because they did also another thing that is introducing Open Harmony into the system or the API, something that they call then Harmony OS. So a distribution of Open Harmony they put into the system as well. But it's invisible by default because it is put into the system. So the system that is booting up with all its drivers, with the possibility to uh, get the display working, the touchscreen working, the sound working, uh, the cameras working and so on, they had to be Linux based or AOSP Android drivers based because the chips in the Mate X3, for example, is a Qualcomm chip and Qualcomm only produces binary drivers for Android. This is why they cannot just use their own operating system because then they have to develop their own drivers and they don't know how to develop their own drivers for Qualcomm chips because Qualcomm is not telling them how to do it. This is why they had the Linux AOSP system booting up this so everything works nice and fluffy. And of course this had as a consequence all the Android applications are still working, can even get Google apps working with uh, the Google Play Store working on the earlier versions if you remember the Mate 30 for example. So this is what we have still here and even the newest Mate 70 Pro and Mate 70 series ships with Harmony OS 4.3 which is, has this base. This year, Open Harmony is a container, and this container has some possibilities to dig in from the AOSP base that it's running on. So, certain things like, for example, the super devices here, those are, it's actually Open Harmony running here. So, it's an interface, the AOSP, the UI is interfacing with Open Harmony to give you the features of the. Uh, super devices there and some other features as well that are a core component of Open Harmony that is running in a container on this device. This is just the state right now with all stable Harmony OS versions. Harmony OS Next, however, does a simple, completely different thing. We can scroll a bit down. So Harmony OS Next, this is Harmony OS Next. What it does, it's its own operating system. This is why it's running on their own Kirin chipset because they have the drivers. They developed the chipset. They can also develop the drivers for the chipset. So they can also swap out the system to Harmony OS Next. This is why the Mate X3 probably will never get Harmony OS Next because it's simply not possible because Qualcomm is not giving them the drivers. This is working nicely. 
Now, why is this a huge thing? Because then you can see the code is completely pure HarmonyOS or Open Harmony based. So HarmonyOS is a is a system based upon Open Harmony OS. So the code is here completely pure. There's no Android code available anymore in here. So by default, you cannot run any Android applications. So how is it possible that I'm still running some Android applications? Like, for example, YouTube. It's loading there. It's like complaining a bit, but it's still loading. And other applications there on Harmony OS Next. This is because what some people did is basically this here, but they reversed it. They took the AOSP out and said, okay, let's put the AOSP in here as a little uh, container. So now we have the reverse. So we have Harmony OS running here as the base system for the drivers, for the chipset, everything. So if you're going into the system, if you even have system information application there, it will give you Open Harmony or Harmony OS as core system there. They have a different kernel, they have a different way of accessing everything there. And when I want to run Android applications, I have a little container that contains all the Android necessary stuff to run, and then I can just simply run it. And it's now interfacing with the Harmony OS system to show me Twitter to be able to scroll here to see everything. But the touch input here is done not by Android, it is done by Harmony OS. That is just like redirecting it to the container there. So everything running here in the container is basically one program, one application. I think this concludes the summarized compressed format there. Hopefully I didn't bore anyone to death, but this is like the easiest way possible to explain to you why it's working. There are more things like uh, I could explain more like micro G, for example, if you're interested in this, what want, want to uh, hear a bit more about this uh, micro G sits, for example, in here as a, as a option to access Google services, which is like an open source recommendation. Anyway, Let's go to question number two. For question number two, notifications on Easy Abroad. I already showed you Easy Abroad, this application that allows you to run Android applications on your Harmony OS Next device. This is how it looks like. And it has some certain apps that it will give you as recommendation because it has the accessibility to the backup that you have for Harmony OS 4 here. So you can see applications that were not yet compatible and it can suggest you to install them here in this container format. It even gives you like a little uh, upgrade options like you can see the Netflix logo has a little upgrade option. If I click on this here I can uh, start Netflix but I also have with the long press the possibility to say upgrade. Is in Chinese this application easy abroad because it is meant for Chinese people. Uh, to use when they are abroad. This is why it's called also Easy Abroad. Netflix is now installed, as you see here in its newest version. I can do the same with, um, with TikTok and so on. Um, before I said notifications were not working in my initial review, this was wrong because they are hidden here. And I was a bit confused because it is like uh, Chinese, I had to translate it. We can go into the uh, me menu or my menu here and then we have various different options here and we have settings here that we can set up but one of those is like the settings option for all applications which is very important because what you can do here and let me go into for example x and i just find it there we go you can hit this green button this will launch the settings for the Android application. And what I can do here is first of all control all the permissions that this has. These are the permissions in the Android container, for example media and files, because I want to upload, be able to upload things with um, X. But I can also go to notifications here and then I can set up all the notifications that I want to receive and how I want to receive them from X. So I have like the banner, lock screen, uh, badges, sound and vibration I can turn on and I can turn on even the type of notifications that I should get. And this I can do for all the other applications, YouTube as well, I can have like, okay, I want to upload stuff, so I have a possibility to allow it to access files there. And I can say also, I want to receive notifications, it should vibrate when I get a YouTube notification, such things. So this is how you set up the notifications for the Android applications that are running within the Easy Abroad container. With the easier board container, is it possible to run Google Pay? Sadly, it's not possible because 
the whole encryption process to be able to pay via NFC requires license keys and a deep integration with the operating system. And this cannot work with this container format for now. At least the MicroG project that is used to be able to access Google applications like the Google app itself is not compatible yet with Google Pay. Maybe they're working on it. I'm not so sure about it, but it's a bit harder to do so. The same goes for some other applications. Even though I'm able to install some applications like, for example, Curve here, it is not for now not working for me because I think the container itself has some restrictions in regards to certain hardware. Uh, or there might be another issue that uh, is preventing this. But you can try it out. Maybe it's on your device working nicely, maybe not on my device just. So this is something to keep in mind as well. Uh, let's go and see some other question. Keyboard. Some people ask me because they don't like this default keyboard, the Celia keyboard that Huawei has. Sadly, this is a system built-in keyboard. So even if I go into an application, let's go to Twitter, and I wanted to create a new post, it will bring up this keyboard here because this is a system yeah, outside of the Android system. So what you cannot do is replace this keyboard with an Android keyboard. This is not possible because this keyboard is coming from the Harmony OS system. It is not from within the container. So this is why you cannot replace it with Gboard or something similar. So we have to wait for another keyboard. Maybe there are some keyboards out there. If you have another keyboard that works maybe a little bit different or better than this one here, you can write it down in the comments as well. It has to be then probably in the Huawei uh, app gallery here if you want to use this keyboard. Let's check out another question that we have. Install apps you don't find on Easy Abroad. And there we come to a very, very interesting thing. First of all, we have the Google Chrome browser on Easy Abroad. And when you use the Google Chrome browser, you have a very interesting thing. For example, when I'm searching for a specific app, let's say I'm uh, searching, not for this app, I'm searching for a music player app or MX player, let's say I'm searching for MX player uh, and I can search for it and I have the Google Play link here. And let's let's try VLC media player, for example. I wanna have the VLC media player uh, for Android, then it should be available on the Google Play Store. I can just click now on this link that is redirecting me to the Google Play Store and what it will do is it will redirect me to their own store. And this is how you can get uh, applications that are usually not available in the store itself. So if you go onto the Easy Abroad store and you go to your applications or discover new applications and you're searching for new applications here in the various different categories, you don't find a specific app like Mastodon. Mastodon wasn't here. I think it's still not there. Mastodon, as you can see, it's not there. I cannot find it. I cannot install it. Alternative to Twitter. So what I did is I just go in here Hit the X, search for Mastodon APK, see the Google Play Store link, click on it. It will go uh, open up the fake store, fake Apple, or fake Google Store, and allows me to download this application from the Google Store. I, in this case, I already downloaded it. It's just two megabytes there and can install it. And this is how you can get more Android applications running on Harmony OS Next. But there's another new solution there that is a new application that they... Um, have introduced there another virtual machine or container for actually I would say more container for the um, Android runtime. Uh, um, I will put the link down below. This is this application with this logo there as well. Uh, not the link, the name down below. So you can just simply paste it, copy and paste it. When I open it up, it will also install a container there. And this is the application. This uh, application is called uh, in German or English, uh, actually, Droitong. Droitong or Droid, Droitong. And this one has an application that is more suited for English users because the user interface is in English or the categories are in English. The irony is here that most of the applications that it will give you here in this store are Chinese-based applications. Mm, so then in the Chinese language there, which is a bit of ironic, but yeah, nevertheless, you have those applications. You can install some of the applications there as well. And the cool thing is they are sharing the container, the Android container with each other. So that means like applications that you install here that will 
go into their own kind of Droitong folder and you cannot move those things out of the folder. So this is the same limitation that we had before. But you have some more options like search apps here where you can have a little browser where you can just search for APK files. And most of the APK files, like for example, F-Droid that I was unable to install on the other uh, virtualization or yeah, container, is able to install here and I can also get my apps from Afdroid, open source, uh, free software kind of app store. I can install DevX, for example, to uh, sync with my calendars. I have this one here. It even gives you YouTube and an interesting variant of YouTube. You can see here already that this is a special variant of YouTube because if I open it up, you can see uh, it has a slight uh, name there and no ads for some reason. So yeah, um, this is also available here and the application itself, the Droitong, will recommend you some applications that uh, can be restored, it says here. So it will give you like a list of applications and uh, here's only one application and I can go to restore and I can see the applications in this case. I'm not sure what kind of map application that is. But YouTube and some others were listed here and I can just simply restore those previously incompatible um, apps here. But I can also install applications here. And like I said, I have uh, the categories here in English. So if you prefer the English version, you have also the possibility to use it here as well. And you have a me tab as well. And you can here see the application restore, but also application update. And here you can see the install management as well. This one doesn't have this very cool integration with the Google App Store or Google Play Store. So as soon as you click on the Play Store link that it will go to uh, their own web store where you can download the app. No, it is not possible here, but you have some cleanup utilities here as well inside. Uh, file transfer is also possible. So instead of an app, you have just uh, the, the file transfer uh, shown here. And we have application management the same as with the other app, but it is able to, as you can see here, uh, list up the applications and I can also click on application and have the same kind of options that I had with the other app uh, with Easy Abroad as well. But this one is more English friendly. So if you are searching for something that has both has the good and negative points, there are also some tutorials out there how to break out of this and install all APK files, but it is a bit more complicated and you have to do certain steps. If you're interested in this, I try to find a way to do it as well. So far, I didn't manage it, but this is the more English friendly version, at least when it comes to the user interface here. So these are all the questions hopefully answered correctly for you. It's a bit of a longer video there. If you want to have uh, more questions answered, certain applications that I should try out, you can see some of the applications that I have here, YouTube, Reddit, YouTube Studio, even my banking application is working so far for showing my bank transfers. I can also initiate a bank transfer, but the second authentication needs to be done via a different device then. Uh, Twitter is working or X is working, TikTok is working, Instagram, Discord, Mastodon, Telegram. All of them are working at also notifications. Did I get a notification there about anything? No, nothing uh, so far about those apps, but usually I will also get notifications about them. Curve, like I said, is not working for me, it might work for you. Have some, uh, there's even this mobile payment app by my bank. I didn't try that out yet. Maybe this will, it would be very interesting to see because this one was in the Easy Abroad store if it will work. PayPal is working as nice. Uh, GSM Arena is here. Nextcloud is working as well as the application. eToro is working there. CPU Z, of course, if you go CPU Z, it will show you that this one here is running Android 12 somewhere in the system. Has a little bit of a bug there. CPU Z, I'm not sure. I have to restart it again. And then let's go to system. There we go. Android 12, it shows AP, uh, API level 31, such things. But doesn't mean that this is running Android 12. It's just like the container is simulating or it's running Android 12, though it has the capabilities running Android 12. But the system here is Open Harmony based, so Harmony OS true and true. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have some questions, like I said, write them down in the comment section. Until the next time, bye.